So to determine the molecular geometry for NO2, we'll go to the Lewis structure. You can see there are two oxygens on that nitrogen, and there's also a single electron on top of the nitrogen atom. So according to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, all of those things are going to push away. The oxygens are going to push away from each other, as is that one electron. So it's not going to be a linear molecule. It's going to look something like this. So we have our nitrogen in the center, and then on either side we have the oxygens. So you can see it's not a linear molecule. It's actually a bent molecule. And remember, we have that one electron right up here that's pushing these two oxygens away. So that's why we have this bent molecular geometry for NO2. We can also use the AXN notation to check the molecular geometry. A, that's the central nitrogen. X, that's the number of atoms attached to it. We have those two oxygens. And N, that's the number of lone pair electrons. Well, we only have one electron there, so let's just count that as a pair, one pair. So we end up with AX2 and 1. We could know that that is a bent molecular geometry, or we could look it up in a table if we're allowed to do that. So going down our table, we have AX2, X3, all the way down to AX6. And here we have AX2N. That's what we're looking for. That is bent, and the bond angle is going to be, it's going to be about 120 degrees for this molecule here. If we go back to our three-dimensional structure, that bond angle is going to be from here and down. That's going to be our 120. And again, it's not going to be exactly 120 here, but about that. So that is the molecular geometry for NO2, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.